had a call with a prospect this morning and I thought it was useful to actually share the experience uh, of the conversation that we had. Um, so this is someone who's come to us and they've started a new business um, and one of the questions that they've sort of been asking themselves and they've been doing a bit of research on for themselves is should they be a sole trader or should they be a limited company? And what I proposed to do for them was to look at what their budget for their business was going to be for the first year. Um, so kind of, I suppose, stretch that a little bit and stress test it to see how reasonable and um, possible those figures were. And based on that, that would give us an idea of what the profitability of the business was going to be. Uh, and based on that, plus the personal goals of the business owner, um, I was advising the business owner that I think it'd be a good idea to start off as a limited company. Um, so time passed, I think, from the initial conversation that we had, and today we had a Zoom call, and the, the client said, look, I've heard from several other people now, and some are saying, yes, go limited now, and some are saying, absolutely not. Um, so the client's very confused and doesn't know which is the best way to go and says look I'm totally relying on what you're going to tell me because you're going to be the expert albeit I've spoken to someone who is in the legal profession and I spoke to someone who is an accountant as well um, and there is different views on whether or not you should be limited from day one or not and I asked to get a bit of feedback on what the, the nature of the advice and tips that they got so far and the general thrust of it was you don't need to go limited from day one. You, you only need to think about that, you know, two or three years into your business. Um, and I said, okay, did anyone you were talking to qualify that advice in any kind of way as to why that is the case? And of course the answer is no. And what often happens is that business owners will speak to each other along the lines of, um, you know, accounting and tax and sort of legal matters. But a lot of their, ex their advice will be based on their own experience. Um, or, or it will be based on a sort of limited understanding of what the situation really is. And the advice that I was giving the client was very much based on what their personal goals were. So this was someone who um, is going to get married soon, um, wants to buy their own home, wants to start a family, and wants to actually grow their business as quickly as possible as well, um, and you know have a number of staff coming on board and so on. So for me, the, the help in that we can give them for their business is all about systems and automation and helping to grow their business in that kind of fashion. Um, but on the basis that the business has a plan for that type of growth, then there will be additional profits. Therefore, there was, um, in my mind, um, a sensible option to go limited from the start rather than having to incorporate a business you know, two or three years down the line. But not only that, I was advising this client based on actual numbers and actual data and I showed them that within the first year of their business, they could save somewhere between £1,500 and £2,000 in tax and national insurance by operating through a limited company and paying themselves in a certain manner through salary and dividend structure. Um, and that's very sort of basic tax advice for us, but amazing advice for the client to get at this stage. They probably don't need to be limited from the purpose of limited liability status and for other reasons, but going limited for them from day one is going to help them to achieve more of their personal goals and puts more money in their pocket. And today I was able to show them what is the price differential also in their accountancy fees because the feedback they got from other people was your accountancy fees are going to be 10 times more as a limited company. That really wasn't the case. They were certainly a little bit more expensive, but the accountancy fees might cost three or four hundred pounds more as a limited company, but they're going to save 1,500, 2,000 pound of tax anyway. So they are still are going to have more money in their pocket, more money in their business. Um, so I think the moral of the story is, whenever you're getting advice about your business, in particular in relation to accounts and especially tax, your situation may be very, very different from someone else that you're talking to. Um, and your situation is always unique to you anyway. Based on what you want for your life, that is how you, your business should be structured accordingly. So hope that's useful, folks, and something to always bear in mind um, when, you're, when you're talking to people about, um, especially matters like tax. Um, talk to a professional and make sure they're focusing on what you need and what your business wants.